for this video, we're going to take a look at a node that I found that allows you to visualize daily, hour, minutes, averages in a bar graph. And you can see it here. So I'm showing you the end product. This is my daylight down here, the last hour, as a time series trend. And then what I have here, uh, this is the hour of the day. So um, this is probably a weakness of it. You can't set the axis where you want it to start from. It just starts from when you do your first compile. But you can see here that this is giving me my average daylight value looks for each hour of the day and you can see here on this particular day that we had a bright spell during um, two o'clock and that will can continue to to work throughout the day so i haven't had it running that long let's have a look at what it actually looks like so this is the the flow or the node node red contrib dashboard average bars is what you're looking for and there's some notes on here that we need to pay a special attention to we can clear the bar graph and all the data associated with by sending a string into the payload that says clear the other thing that i found out is that it stores the average values in context data so you have to make some changes to your context data if you want this to be saved. So if, say if you turn the power on and off, then when it turns back on, you haven't lost all of your stored data. So this is a setting that you need to change in Node-RED. So let's do that before we start looking at the node. So on the screen now, you can see I have my terminal and it's saying here we need to um, see context storage in settings. So what it's talking about is your node red settings.js. So on the screen you can see the command sudo nano is my text editor and this is where on my Raspberry Pi where my settings file is stored. So once I've got my file open, so this is just text format, scroll down until you find your context settings and you can see those here on the screen now. So context storage by default I think is set to to memory only. You can put this text in as you see it on the screen. So it gives you the option to switch between memory and file. But for the average bar UI to work, you need to set the default to file. And then it will store the average values that it calculates every hour, every day, every week into context storage. So if you turn the power off and turn it back on, over a five minute period, you're going to lose five minutes of averaging. You can't prevent that, but it will pick up from where it left off once it uh, uh, re-establishes its connection. So that's really important. So to use the, so let's have a look at my dashboard. I've taken it straight out of my process value coming in, you know, fast, I think uh, 0 0.1 of a second, so 100 milliseconds. I've not done any other averaging on it because this is going to, to do it for me. So let's have a look at what we can do in here. So I've got to give it a name. That's the node name. This is my title. And I'm looking at here the last day, but you can see here I can do last year, week, hour, month. I'll keep it on last day. The y-axis for me, I can't go any lower than zero. So I'll put that in. And then the maximum is set to auto because I don't really know, I haven't been keeping an eye on what the maximum will go up to. Then you've got two bars, rectangular or equalizer. So let's just go back to the help so you can see that. So this is the equalizer, the one I've chosen. And then this is the rectangular one. You can set your colors here, how you want the equalizer to look. And then what you want to display is down here. Chart, min, max. So the, the last value, the minimum and the maximum are for the current period that you're on. I'll show you again in a minute at runtime. And then the looks. So this generates all of the information required for a template. So you fill all this in. And then if you go down here to your UI, you will see the average bars. That's what I've, I've installed. 
and then this template is part of the the dashboard UI so you need to install that so let me just have a look so you can have a look on the manage palette so it all makes sense palette here um, node red dashboard has installed all of these other nodes including the template node so I need to have that it's called a dependency and then my node red average bars is the one I've just in, installed and you can see here the ones that are in use ones have been disabled etc so just close that you don't have to do anything with this template if I click it I haven't changed anything here other than where I'm going to visualize the chart so let's just have a look at this when we drag it in blank you can see here there's nothing I've got to give it a name right so and then tell it where I want it to be displayed so I'll just delete this one so I've told this to display here in my ambient light group 2 and I've set the size 22 by 8 and I've linked it to the output from my ambient light node. So let's have a look at my dashboard. So I can see my dashboard here. There's my ambient light. If I go to my, my layout, uh, I haven't named it, look, so that's bad practice. So let's go back and change this. And we'll give it a name. Let's call this now. If we go back to our dashboard, I can see here ambient light. So, so I can move that around and I can resize it here as I want. Now the only other thing I didn't explain is the height, so I could do the height like that. Yeah, um, but I'll put it back to eleven. The height itself is coming from this bit here, bar lines. This is the the amount of segments that you will have on your bar graph. So I've put fifty. If I put twenty, it will be a very small graph, and you can put hundred. It will increase the height of the the chart. So I've done all of that. I've got my value coming straight into it. There's no point in putting, you know, a debug on here. We just deploy. And then if we go back to our dashboard. So again, if you want to do it from within here, view your, ja your dashboard. So go to dashboard and then click on this little symbol. And then that will open up another screen with your dashboard on it. So we're not interested in vibration. We'll go to the next tab, ambient light. And we can see this now will start building up. So that's it. So just have a look at what we've got. Um, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Hopefully that makes sense. Then these values up here, if I just put my mouse over, you can see that little grey box. That's telling you the hour and the average value. But you've got the average value above the bar graph anyway. So this is the last period it calculated. The period it was working on at the moment, so five o'clock here, is this information here. So I can see that my current average value uh, is there, 69. Sorry, it's jumping around a bit. That's my current value. So that's my process value coming in with no averaging. And then I have my maximum and my minimum value during that period. That's a, a nice little node. That, Gives you a, a visualization for, for averaging that can be quite powerful as a, as a long term indicator. I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to click on that notification button. Share this with your friends and colleagues, this channel. But for now, thanks for listening and hope to see you again soon.